Oh, there we go. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of... Well, I don't really know what this is an episode of. This is actually just Durham on the live stream. This is Pastiche of Skin, playing games, just relaxing and playing games in my own uh, inevitable way. I don't know what way to call it. Uh, what we're actually checking out today is a little bit of Journey, which has been a game that everybody's uh, talked about over the years for a long, long time. It's just about uh, randomly connecting with another human being, well, another being of some sort, and traveling on a long, unexpected journey to go somewhere new. So I've never played this before, and um, I'm going to play it now. I hope I actually do find somebody who else is play also playing it. This game is now currently on sale on the American PSN store, so I'm sure there's a few new players, so hopefully we'll help each other, but um, I, there's no real way to communicate with other people while traveling, other than through whistles and just <laughs> like movements. So I wonder what this is going to be like. As the sands of time slowly erode away, a story begins to be shown. As that story grows, it becomes a journey. Um, yep. From what I know, this is just a journey across the long distant sands as a cloaked figure with a little... Uh, one thing I do know about this is that the people who have already played through it have a longer like flowy scarf or cape than you do, which um, makes sense. It kind of like um, it marks them as actually people who know where they're going. So if I get marked up or teamed up with somebody who knows where they're going, because as it is now, I am wandering the sands and I have no idea where I'm going. Okay. Well, let's take a wander. Oh, you do all your looking by tilting? Right. Yeah, that's interesting. Um. Hmm. And that's movement. As I drape through the sand, long thin tracks as I slide through the dunes and walk deeper and deeper into the distance. Obviously, um, I'm going to walk towards this marker at the top of the hill. It's probably going to show me a big wider desert and that I've gotten so much more to travel. Yeah, it takes longer to climb in the hills. Go on. You can do it. Trip up higher. <sighs> Let's get ourselves to the top of the hill and see what we can see. Ooh. Is that what we're going to be looking for? <laughs> ah, it is truly a journey. <sighs> Such a mellow mood. I was glad for the mellow mood. It's been been a pretty stressful week, so um, I'm kind of relaxed and happy to be just chilling out here for a little while. I spent most of the day trying to try out Henkaku. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know, uh, Henkaku is a hack, essentially an exploit for the current PS Vita firmware and PS TV firmware that allows homebrew, ah, oh, that, that is actually really, really cool, though we slide, uh, which allows homebrew on the PS Vita and the PS TV, which uh, means emulators and uh, a port of Doom and a bunch of other stuff that's actually been recently modified and released, or has been released over the last um, part of the homebrew scene since they first modded the PS Vita to allow people to run stuff on it. It's, um, it's verging on the line of piracy. But it isn't piracy because it's homebrew software. It's it's not one that was actually commercially available at any point. It was, but there's a lot of stuff that's in the emulators and such would be considered commercially available material unless you have a copy of it of your own at home. So I will be poking and prodding and taking a look at that to see what kind of interesting stuff's coming out of the homebrew scene on the Vita. Back in the day, the PSP scene was really really uh, big and active, which was cool. Uh, it's, it's actually really cool to see. Oh, what's this? Um, oh, right, so that's giving me the ability to jump. I have a floaty cape. I like my floaty cape. Floaty cape! Mm -hmm. So, I can see somewhere else in the distance here, so I'm assuming it's time for me to keep moving. I'll see, I'll try and get to 
At least this next spot. Oh. I can't jump whenever. Oh, that's weird. Okay, so I could only jump whenever it was that spot. I probably, oh, I can see all the ones in the distance, so I'll probably use those as platforms or tell me whenever there's platforming bits. Hey, there. Oh. Interesting. So that's what that's for. Oh, okay. So you use that little floaty bit to actually... You can, you can only jump whenever you have those um, little opportunities. Like this. Yeah. Uh, Alright, I think I need to actually get up here. Hup. Yeah, stand there. And I need you guys to come do an all reloop around. Ugh. Ah, there we go. Right. Can't get up any higher. Ah, boss, I can't. So yeah, the uh, PS uh, homebrew scene. Um, oh yeah, I can climb up this way. The PlayStation 4 homebrew scene it seems to be completely non-existent at the moment because there's uh, no real kind of hack for the console. But the Vita scene may actually get a massive upgrade. Ooh, what's this? Oh, right, I absorbed those. Cool. Um, <laughs> fair enough. All the floaty things being released. That's really nice. Oh, they're used for actually getting you to places. Whoa, what the hell is that? Meditative stance. Yes. You say I need to go to the place? The place of the light? The light on the mountain? Uh, of course I shall. And the light shall open up to the heavens. Works for me. I wonder what all the code I could... Uh, oh, there's a ship. Maybe? Oh, right, and it'll bring more life. It'll bring greenery to the land again. And there will be others, like me, who will continue their search until we find... what? The Great Vine, is it? Or the tree. The Tree of Life. Deep man, you got a deep message there. Looks like I'm gonna have to walk on ahead. I shall continue my journey. I will search further and farther, farther, further, further, farther. Okay. I assume that was level one. Ah, the sands of time. They destroy all, remove all. Where am I going? I must fall from here! No wee whistles. Okay. I um, need to get over there. Is that? See a wee white light over there. See the little scarfs there. Not a bit there. Maybe I'll take a wee look down. Ah, floaty light. All right. So what is that? Is that just a? Oh, that's just a broken banner. Woo, 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 woo. Don't want to jump that hard. Hmm? Oh, 
I get how they work now. So if I actually use the the bigger whistle, it'll actually activate all the wee thingy bobbers. Okay. So where was this white light that I saw sitting over here? This wee white ball? How far over was it? Is it all the way over here? Aha! I don't know what you are, but I'm gonna get you. Hello? Another journeyman. So, I don't know what I'm meant to do next. It's very nice to have met you. What the? So do you want to tell me where to go? Because I don't know. You've got a longer scarf than me, so obviously you know where you're going. So show me the way. Do you know the way to go? Hey, fantastic, I've got a buddy now. Let's travel together across the sand. A long enough journey to foreign lands. We slide around. So let's see, jump over here. And do we take this? Didn't make it. Okay, can you tell me where to go? Because I don't know. Oh, wow. Huh, that's very cool. Did not know that's what that did. Oh, okay. That makes sense. So now I know how to do that. That's a learning adventure. So uh, how do I use this now? So brother, how do I get to the next spot? Is there another thing we need to do? Or do I just do more of this? Oh, okay. Huh? Huh? And I can't make that one. Okay, maybe we go over here. This all makes sense now. <laughs> 